Hey dancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie and I'm the owner and one of the ballet instructors here at Broche Ballet, a ballet school for adults here in Denver, Colorado. Today I want to talk a little bit about injuries. This is something that's unfortunately part of many of our ballet journeys um, and it's something that can be really, really emotionally challenging to deal with. Um, in addition to being physically painful, it can actually be quite emotionally challenging as well. Um, I myself have had many, many injuries. I've hurt my knee, I've hurt uh, my SHL tendon in my foot, I've hurt my right Achilles, and I've hurt my lower back, all of which took me off dancing for several weeks uh, for each of them. In fact, my lower back took me off for almost a year of dancing. Um, so, you know, as you're going through an injury, um, there's a lot of things going on with the injury, not only in your body, but in your brain. Um, I think that one really important thing to remember with injuries is that if you, if you take care of yourself after an injury, um, we always learn the most as we go through an injury. So um, why do I know so much about how to strengthen your feet? Well, because as I've injured my feet, I've had to work really hard on strengthening them so I didn't get injured again. I, of course, didn't bother to learn these things before I got hurt. I only learned that because I got hurt and after I got hurt and really needed to rehab and make sure that didn't happen again. Why do I know about the core? Because I hurt my lower back and wasn't using my core properly. So every single injury that I've had, um, while it really, really sucked at the time, I've come away with it much stronger with much more tools in my toolbox um, to be able to handle future injuries. This is something where, you know, we all go through it as dancers. It's all part of our journey. Anytime we're doing something physical and trying to push the limits, sometimes you do find those limits and we get hurt. Um, it's, it's sort of part of it and coming back from the injury stronger than ever is a really critical part of your training. Uh, you know, it's important not to just give up and say, well, you know, I got injured, that's the end of it. You really want to take that injury in stride, learn all the things you need to learn from it, get yourself stronger, learn how to be a better dancer in the future, and come back stronger than ever. Oftentimes we come back better than before because whatever caused the injury, whatever imbalance, you know, if we go through the physical therapy, if we work really hard to come back from that, um, we can actually become stronger dancers at the end of it. But one really important thing, one last thing before we sign off here is that, you know, injuries really do suck and, you know, reach out to the people close to you, um, kind of commiserate with people about your injuries, especially as you're going through the injury. We all know that the healing process is not linear. When you're getting to the end of that process, um, it can feel like it's never going to get better. It's never going to end. And so really reach out to the people around you, reach out to your ballet friends, reach out to your family and, uh, you know, your friends in your day-to-day -day life and, you know, uh, commiserate on the things that you've gone through together. And, um, feel, feel the camaraderie that we've kind of all, we're kind of all in this together. Our bodies are, are not perfect as much as we want them to be. We've all gotten injured, we've all had to go through it. So, so reach out, know that you're not alone in that injury and uh, that you'll make it through, hopefully good as new, if not better. That's all for today, dancers. Let me know your comments and experiences down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Until next time.